So it's been another week of inclement weather and disappointment. It has indeed. Welcome to the Basement Golf Show. So welcome back guys, um, yes we'll start with open qualifying for myself. Indeed, any of you that don't know or haven't been watching in the last few weeks, Adam's had a go at open qualifying last week, how did it go? Not great, not great, um, got to Luffenham Heath, uh, amazing golf course in great condition, really enjoyed the experience and we'll, we'll learn a lot from the experience as well um, in terms of Knowing that actually getting there, I could could play at that mm -hmm. level. That's that's perfectly fine. I didn't get off to the greatest of starts. Not making any excuses. It was completely me. Um, it was raining for the first sort of eleven holes that we played. Um, so a lot of greens being squeegeed. It was very slow, um, and it's just one of those things. Got off to a bad start, so bogeyed the first two and then hit it left into what only can be described as jungle Some snakes in there just there. just off the side of the fairway and it was just one of those courses it wasn't very long so the the golf course was just defended by what was around it sort of after that played quite nicely but being i was four over through three and then it was almost a bit, bit of a re there, rescue mission from that point on but played quite nicely um level par got into the playoff so it wasn't a million miles away no with a better start would have been fine better start it? would have been sort of okay but it's one of those things live and learn um, at the end of the day, a lot worse things could have could Indeed. have happened. So, and you're um, going to have another go next year. Battled hard, yes, yeah, yeah. Going to have a, another go next year. Going to try and play a bit more towards the back leading end of the up. season. Um, yeah, and leading into next year, but back into this season, going to try and play a bit more. Sort of got the real taste for sort of playing a bit more. So good, it's good. Excellent. We'll keep you updated on his progress. Um, and I might even get out and play a little bit as well. So yeah. we shall see. Right, let's move on to the Olympics. Yeah. I think we need to talk about that this week. Mm, lots of people not going. And lots of people thinking about not going. Not great, is it? Obviously, top star Roy McElroy has said, no, That's I'm weird. not going. Yeah. It's, it's all to do with this virus, isn't it? Yeah. They're all worried, or they're using that, as, they're using yeah. that reason, aren't they, for yeah. not going. And that would, that would be, well, if it was me, that would be the only reason I wouldn't go. Mm. Like, they wouldn't catch me not going for any other. Well. That would be, I'd be first yeah. on the plane. I just hope that it doesn't spell the end for golf at the Olympics. You know, mm. it's been given this opportunity. It'd be great just to have a good tournament, mm. see it through, yeah, get a good winner, and mm. hopefully then when it goes to the next country, and without, all the top players. Without sounding funny, but you need the names there as well. You need well. the top players, yeah. You need definitely. the names there, otherwise it's like, well, he won it, but such and such wasn't there, or they it's weren't there. Right now, you yeah. just think, well, it's one of those things, obviously you've got Brandon Grace, he said he's not gonna mm -hmm. go yeah Jason Day's thinking about not going mm -hmm. yeah, yeah definitely but then you've got so, the other side of it you've got Bubba Watson saying doesn't care he's definitely going his wife was due to represent um, USA at basketball got injured a few months before and couldn't go uh, and he said she's gutted that she missed that chance because four years later off, she wasn't yeah. there he's definitely going so at least we'll see Bubba there so PGA next to you know week after next Greenbrier yeah and that looked a little news, bit damp didn't it yeah, for Wilder. those of you that don't know, um, Virginia in America has suffered some of the biggest rainfall, the biggest flooding in years. I think that's, I read I read some of those sort of fifty thousand homes without electricity still. Madness. The golf course at Greenbrier has been destroyed, um, and they've cancelled the PGA Tour event there due yeah. for two I weeks' see time. Bubba Watson put a picture on, didn't he? Yeah. And literally, the the whole of the first fairway was. was there was no, it's gone. Just there was sun, nothing it? there. It's gone. Just the tops of trees. That's yeah. all you could see. Yeah, it was. Yeah, well, it's crazy. So yeah, hopefully all the people of that area get yeah. recovered yeah. and the golf course. Hopefully everything's okay and then the golf course can can come back next year. Mm. We shall see. It might be a couple of years before that's held there again. I'm sure the green keepers will love the rebuild. Cool, that'd be hard work, wouldn't it? Right, tour, European tour this European week. Tour. So yeah, we've obviously just got pulled it up there. Yeah, it's um. Um, bit, again, bit, bit, bit more rain. I was going to say, just a little bit more weather. Um, but they've managed to get their third rounds completed, mm. um, and they're just about to start their fourth rounds. Um, did you see 
Garcia's hole in one. I did, earlier in yeah. The week. Um, boom, one bouncing in. Um, friend of the show, Paul Seven, was there. He's a um, European tour photographer yep. from round our way. Mm -hmm. I saw him yesterday. Um, he just flown back. And he said he was on the tee, it was an hour before he was due to go catch a flight and he thought, well I bet he's, he works for Hilton, where well, he was there on shoot for Hilton. He said, I better just get Garcia in front of that board again. Mm -hmm. And he was there, saw it all, quickly grabbed the camera out, got some really good shots that you'll see now. Um, and yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? A week's holiday, even yeah, even yeah. for these guys, a week's all expenses at Hilton, he'll definitely take that. Yep, definitely. So who's going to win then? I can't see anyone. Like you think Stenson, it's been wet, it's now going to play super long, mm -hmm. he hits it real good, his putting's, like, yeah. his putting's obviously been, been alright all been week, good. 68, 65, 67, can't, can't, see past I him. can't see anybody getting past him, but that means, because I've predicted him, he'll probably he's, come about he's tied 27. He's not going to do well, I'm going to go Ollison, I think everyone else is too far back, because um, I think, they, I think one of the, oh, he that. has been consistent, 367s is impressive. Uh, another 67, and he might have a shout. Mm. Uh, I think Stenson's going to shoot at least two or three under. Um, so someone else out of the pack is going to have to go crazy. Mm. So I'm going to go Ollison. Lorenzo Vera has done well to get himself, he has. pull himself out of the pack. Though. He has done, yeah. So we shall see if you know. We shall watch. We shall watch and see what happens. So Enjoy. PGA Tour, professional. Yeah, that John Rahm looks a good player, doesn't he? Yeah, first week on tour, he's um, yeah it's looking pretty solid. Impressive, twelve under through three rounds. Although they did catch his shank on Pro Tracer. Did you see that last night? Yeah. <laughs> That's never good, but it shows that even the best players in the world do it. Yeah. Um, and he's still shot under par even with that in his card. So. What a horrible word. God, yeah, just made me that. shudder. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so who's going to win this then? Billy Hurley's two shots clear of Ernie. Yeah. I'm going to go a bit further down. Oh, yeah? I'm going... Who are you going? Bill Haas. Bill Haas, 10 under. 10 under. Okay. So there's a lot to make up. It's it's one of those things. Hopefully he can... He can do it. Get out early, put a score on the board, sit in the clubhouse and wait and see what happens. He's certainly fairly experienced, isn't he? I'm going to go L's for sentimental reasons, just because it'd be lovely to see him yeah. win again. It would be good to see him. It would be like, lovely to see it him. It's horrible to watch that putting. Yeah. Like and it just feel for him, like just try and get it sorted out and he obviously Yeah obviously he's gone to the worked. Seymour putter and it seems to be working for him. Yeah, so, so fingers crossed for him. We shall see, we shall watch this evening. Um, joining the conversation as always, use the hashtag PJ Life three six five and let us know who you think's gonna win. Tall V Small So, Tall V Small Challenge. Mm, yes, week number four. Yeah, week four. So I'm two one up. You are two one up. Yes. So all to play for. So we've gone with a suggestion from was Crouchy. Yeah, our friend Martin Crouch. She's done the Lynx yeah. Master. Yes. Yeah, so Crouchy's given us the thing of a blindfolded par, par three. three challenge. Mm. So well, we thought we'd give it a go. We'd give it a go. So here we are. Mm. Right, tall versus small challenge today. Blindfolded par three, tall, small, and a rain hood. Let's go. You hit it. Well done. There we go. You're right on track. I don't actually think that hit any groove. Wow. I like I've gone left. Mine left. <laughs> right back on the path. Let's go. That hasn't gone well. <laughs>
I genuinely else. thought, how the hell have I missed it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't really get the hang of the putting there, did I? Oh. I think we were quite level after two shots, but yeah. I don't know what happened. I didn't actually know where the first one went. You hit it no. and said it had gone right, and I still couldn't see no. where it was. It, but it did actually it's... hit no grooves. I've got the biggest ball mark on, <laughs> on the toe. <laughs> yeah, so far out of the toe. It was good fun, though. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. It was, it was weird that you obviously you could see, um, like the light coming in. Yeah. But as you put your head down to address the ball, it was like, oh, oh there's nothing brilliant. there at all. <laughs> You've got no idea. Right. When you took the ball away at the end. Yeah. I generally thought I'd missed it, and I was just thinking, oh, oh my god, god, he's got that on camera. <laughs> Then you thought, no, no, I can't miss it. But when I was putting, <coughs> obviously my, my head isn't moving that much, but because my shoulders are moving and the hood's on my shoulders, it felt like everything was moving. I was like, what's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> just smashed it anyway. Very weird. Here we go. We shall, um... If you want to have a go, guys. Mm, yeah, yeah, Look, send us your videos. We'd love yeah, to see Take it. your rain hood out your bag. Give it a go. Mm. It's not the easiest thing in the world, I, I promise you. Yeah. But yeah, if you video it, send, send it, it in, in. We'll, we'll definitely feature it. it. Yeah, definitely. 100%. Right, Lynx Master. Yes. We have the Irish connection this week. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of PGA pros from Ireland, Stephen Ennis uh, and Ed Martin. Yes. Contacted us and had a little, want to have a little challenge, see if they could have a go. Um, so we filmed it earlier in the week. Yeah. Here's how they got on. Right then, Ed. Question number one. So it's open qualifying today. But what's the course that being played in the Republic of Ireland's version of the regional qualifying? The course is the Island Golf Club. Well done, excellent, five points. So, Dustin Johnson won the US Open last night, but what was his total number of shots for 72 holes? 276. Oh, no. He's t oh, yeah, sorry, 276, that's right. Sorry, that's my maths being bad. Yep, well done. <laughs> oh, so, Caddyshack, greatest golf movie of all time in my opinion, but what's the character played by Michael O'Keefe, who's the young caddy out for a scholarship? I have no idea. I've never seen Ah, oh, brilliant. Excellent. No points there then. Okay, so you've got to guess the golfer from these clues. So, for five points, he's Northern Irish golfer from Portrush. Graham McDowell. No, no, not, not Graham McDowell. So he played in the 1930s to 1950s. Okay, oh. right. No, okay, so for three points, he was the first Irishman to win a major. First Irishman to win a major? Yeah. From Port Rush? Yeah. No. no. Okay, right. His surname is the same as Wild Thing John. Daly. Daly. Mm. Fred Daly. Fred Daly, well done. Two points. Good. Right, so, guess the... You should have known that, yeah. Guess the year. Right, so I'm going to give you the four major winners. So, winner of the Masters was Fred Couples. Winner of the US Open was Tom Kite. Nick Faldo won the British Open. And Nick Price won the US PGA. Really? Um, Faldo won the Open. Yes. Couples won the Masters. Got a couple of, of one-time major winners in there. Oh, close. One year out, 1992. Well done. So 20 points. So that is 68 total. Well done. Very good. Right, send right. Stephen in. Righty-ho. So, ready? Yep, go for it. Okay, question number one. So it's regional open qualifying today. But yes. what, what is the name of the course for the Republic of Ireland's regional qualifying? Ah, the island. Tommy across the road from us. Indeed. Very good. Five points. Always like to give you a nice gentle one to start off with. <laughs> Right, so Dustin Johnson won the US Open last night. But I what can was confirm that. Is that a correct answer? Correct answer. But what was his total number of shots for the 72 holes? Oh, God. Uh, Matt's question. Indeed. Uh, par 72, 80, use 4 Well done. Five points. Okay, so next question. Caddyshack, greatest golfing movie of all time in my opinion. What is the character played by Michael O'Keefe, the young caddy out for a scholarship? What's his character's name? 
Oh, God. Um, should know this one. I should, and I'm gonna go. I'm only guessing here. Was it? It wasn't Danny, was it? Danny something, yeah. We're gonna need the surname, though. Oh. <laughs> um, nah, not a clue what the surname is. Danny Noonan. I'll give, oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you two points for that. Right, okay. so you've got to guess the golfer now from these clues. So, Northern, Northern Irish professional golfer from Portrush. I always get confused whether Clarkey or GMAC are from Portrush. Um, GMAC. No, it's not. Right, he played in the 1930s to 1950s, so it's neither GMAC or Clarkey. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely off the mark then. Played in the 1930s to the 1950s. Northern Ireland. Nah. Nah. No? Okay. He, he was the right. first Irishman to win a major. First Irishman? You're not doing your country very proud here. I'm not here because I'm thinking it's one of two people. There you go. You can always guess. You get it wrong. It doesn't matter. I think Bradshaw was later than that. So... It's either Harry Bradshaw or Fred Daly. I'm thinking Bradshaw's later. I think Bradshaw's around the 50s. So I'm going to go Fred Daly, but... Very good. It is Fred Daly. Three points. Get in there, you beauty. Well done. Right, so guess the year now. So, going to give you the four major winners. You've got to guess the year. Okay, so the Masters was Fred Couples. Tom Kite won the US Open. Nick Faldo won the British Open. And Nick Price won the US PGA. Pure guess. 1990. Oh, two years out, 1992. So that's 19 off that. So that is 66. Very good. Ed got 68, so you beat him by two. Get in there, you beauty. Seriously. <laughs> yep, you done him by two. He'd never seen Caddyshack, and um, he took another clue to get Fred Daly. So, well done, well done. Very, very good. I'm a happy boy. Just want to say thanks to Simon and Adam for having us on tonight's show. Cheers, guys. Really enjoyed it. It was great. Thank you. See you soon. See you later. Bye. Great effort there, guys. Fantastic. Mm. Um, great, obviously, different insight. Yeah. A little bit mean with the questions in a minute. I'd have never got that. Like, <sighs> I was, when I was running through them, I was, sat there, I was thinking, you asked the question, I was like, no idea. Not even a clue. Oh, I did only try and make it fairly Irish specific for them. Yeah. Um, you know, Fred Daly is a very famous Irish golfer. Yeah, I, I definitely went GMAC the same as yeah. them. <laughs> I was just like, that's it, yeah. Yeah, the clues were a bit harsh. After um, Dave getting um, 59 last week, I was like, yeah. I'm not going to let someone no. get it after no one this else, one No clue. one else is getting there. I spend all this time thinking of these clues, and then Dave goes and gets it after so one. So, boys, yes. we're really sorry, but it's Dave Ball's fault. It is Dave Ball's fault, yeah. You can blame him. <laughs> right, it's a big whack this week. Yeah. So this is Diane Glasswell, she's one of my lessons. We were out on the, the golf course, doing mm -hmm. a bit of a playing lesson. Yeah. Asked her if she wanted to hit a shot, and she was more Most than happy. Obliging. yes. Um, so, Diane, this is your big, big whack. whack. My name's Diane Glasswell, and this is my big whack. For Diane's big whack, she uses a Ping G30 12 degree with a TFC 45 gram lady shaft. Right guys, so thanks for watching this week. Um, what have we got going on next week? Some more tall versus small, I think. Yeah, more, yes. more of that. So more challenges coming in. We've got a couple of requests already. So, Indeed. Um, so yeah, yeah. Keep up to date with that, obviously, on social media. All the links are below. Um, we'll be posting some pictures and some yeah. videos of how we're getting on. Yeah, Give you a little definitely. sneak preview into that. But, yeah, definitely tune in next week to see how we get on with the one-legged driver challenge. Yeah, and also, guys, do, do click onto the, the guys that we've featured in the Lynx Master, two, yes. two guys that you'd really like to, to follow on mm, on all on social, social media. media platforms. Yeah, um, we've put really all their links down, haven't we? Yeah, and I think you'll enjoy some of the, what they've got coming up. Indeed. Thanks okay. for watching, everybody. See you next week. Thanks a lot.